Greetings golf fans, I'm Daniel Court with Golf Weekly and I'm joined again by Chris Hendricks, Golf Store Outlet, Chris Tremblay, JPGA, nice Island here. Golf School. Guys, welcome. Welcome back. Um, we're, we're doing, as always, our second show of the year, uh, our week in review. And before we do that, I wanted to ask the guys what's going on with your, uh, with your, with your businesses real quick. Want to go? I'll be happy to go first. The um, Junior <laughs> Players Golf Academy this weekend, all of our students will be in action over at Hilton Head National playing in one of the Hurricane Junior Golf Tour events. And we look forward to hopefully some very strong finishes. So that's what we really so anything like last in. year you guys uh we're hoping yeah we're hoping you guys should be off to a good start we'd like to think so we had a great year last year but we're looking to build on that and continue on it's all about what what you do for me lately what have you done yeah. for me lately the past is <laughs> <Perfect>. done <laughs> what do you got going on um right now we've got a lot of sets of clubs that just came in um, travel bags pool carts and a huge amount of ladies clothing just came in a lot huge. of name brands um burberry sport Ooh, haley burberry. um I can't even think of all the names. There's that a Burberry is some stuff. nice looking stuff. Isn't yes, it, it is. Yeah. Very good looking yeah. stuff. Well, very reasonably priced. Burberry raincoats? Not raincoats. <laughs> raincoats? <laughs> uh, good. Well, uh, sounds like things are going well for both both yeah. of you. And we're back back home after being over at the Westin last week. It's always nice to be back in the house. Always nice to be I don't back know, I in the house. I kind of missed the Westin. That <laughs> it's was pretty nice there. <laughs> it's a ni that was a nice setting. It was. Yeah, it was. It was. Very nice. Yeah, I could have, could have lounged around for a while. Yes, sir. Uh, Guys, uh, getting on to golf on the national scene, PGA Tour, uh, second to, uh, tournament of the year, was Sunday still in Hawaii. Hawaii. They stayed in Hawaii. And it's a very different course than Kapalua. They were playing at Wailai. Playing at Wailai Country it's Club in Sony Honolulu, Open. where they played for many, many moons. Yeah. And we had a tour rookie, Russell Henley, who came off the Web.com Tour. He won twice last year on the Web.com Tour actually won a nationwide tour event, as it was called then, as an amateur mm -hmm. in 2011. And he pretty much waxed the field this week. He won um, shooting 24 under par. The nearest com competitor was Tim Clark, who was 21 under. And then after that, you had two guys that were 17 under. So they were seven back of him. So right. we've gotten the message loud and clear here early in the year that the, um, the rookies are ready to rock and roll, because tied for third was Scott Langley, a um, gentleman who came out of Q School. Right. right. So, um, like yeah. we've talked about so many times on the broadcast, there's, there's just so much talent out there, and when they really start to do exactly what they can do as well as they can, there's so many of them that are capable of winning. That's what amazes me, you know, they're not wasting any time. You know, these guys have been so well-groomed, uh, not only with their games and their swings, but mentally. Um, I think the big question with, with both Henley and Langley going into the final round with pretty sizable leads was, it's Sunday on the PGA Tour. Right. And, you know, Sunday, Johnny Miller always said, the body feels a little bit different. The mind does some strange things to you on Sunday. Uh, both Langley held up, I think, quite, quite... Uh, For a rookie, he got a tie for third. I mean, that makes it early in yeah. the year. It gives him a little breathing room and helps him to give a good foundation for obviously making enough money to reassure that he's got his card for 2014. But you know, right. that's what a lot of these guys have got to do because the veterans they're always going to stay up there. Your Mickelsons, your, you know, players, Tiger, guys like that, they're always going to be and up in that top. But all your rookies, like you were saying, they've got to come out quick. Yeah. Because they don't know how long before any of the veterans really kick it into gear. So once they start doing that, that's when those guys start winning tournaments. They've got to climb that food chain, chain quickly. And Very you look quick. at, you know, Russell Henley in the last round, you know, like we talked about before we came on air, <clears throat> the way he finished up with all those birdies. I mean, you know, five, Tim Clark. Five, five birdies, birdies in a row. Tim Clark shoots 63 and makes up no ground. No, no ground. ground. Yeah, I heard Clark in an interview afterwards. He said, uh, you know, I threw everything I had at him and the kitchen sink. And he didn't waver. It's nice to see Tim Clark back, though, because yeah, he's, he's been, been off for off he's for been injured while, for a yep. while, and it's nice to see him with his game. Because normally a 63 will put you somewhere. Well, I in a normal, if you told me, round. you know, Tim Clark trailing, uh, playing in the same group with two rookies, um, and shoot 63 in the final round, he doesn't do I would have said he would have taken the trophy. Yep. Um, John McGinnis said on PGA Tour Serious Radio that. Uh, Henley's performance is, without question, the, uh, the the most impressive 
opening round for a rookie in PGA Tour history. That's how good I can he imagine. Played. He shattered all kinds of records. Oh, 24 yeah. under. That's six the, under a day. Yeah. That's burning one day. out of every three holes with no bogeys. No bogeys. He shoots two, he shoots two 63s. That's in uh, the pretty tournament. impressive. And uh, this guy, they said, his father said he was just a really good athlete. Been playing all kinds of sports. He just settled in on golf. But he brings kind of a football basketball intensity to the golf course right. and you're starting to see that not only are these players these young players not only are they fit and not only are they mechanically sound well coached but they're athletes mm -hmm. you, very much know, so you know you're not seeing these old fat guys out there smoking cigarettes like it used and, to be that's and, right and getting drunk at night you know these guys are they're playing see, they're well groomed well seasoned athletes well that's you know i'd like to think that's one of the reasons why you know at the jpga we've had so much success is you know four days a week we've got them in the gym after practice every day and they've got a pretty good routine that they do to make sure that they have good stamina strength flexibility mobility People, people don't, people don't, people don't realize that as you play multiple rounds throughout the week, I mean, it takes a wear, I mean, it takes a wear and tear on your body. Sure does. If you're not in shape, I mean, you can't make the rotations, you can't make those swings without something pulling or, you know, so. Well, you look at their bodies, you know, they're, they're, they're all uh, <laughs> trim and muscular and hitting it a country mile. The day of the McDonald's tumor. Is gone yeah, on tour. Yeah, right. It really is, and and you know that is the Tiger effect. You got to give Tiger a lot of credit. He brought yeah. he brought fitness to the forefront. Speak of that real quick. We got to go, guys. But uh, Rory McIlroy goes to Nike. Nike. That's going to be expected. really interesting to see he and Tiger kind of on the same team, if you will. I think we're in for a pretty interesting rivalry between yeah. those two guys. I think it's going to be Albeit good. friendly. Well, it may not be friendly once we get to the Masters, but uh, yeah, um, should be fun to watch. That's what we love to watch. Definitely be fun to watch. Um, that's all the time we got. We've got to move on. When we come quick. back, I uh, had the good fortune to uh, visit Beth Page uh, National Park and see the Black Horse and all the good things that are going on around there. We're going to talk about that trip when we get back. Stay with us.